literally pat slash blend slash buff slash press the life of your powder into your face. All right, y'all, so diving right into the video, we're gonna start off with the NYX Shine Killer. You literally do not need to spend mad money. Oh, Lord. You literally do not need to spend mad money to look like a bad bitch. So here we are today, getting into that. And as y'all saw, the black primer just disappeared. And it literally feels like there's absolutely nothing on your face. A little bit goes an extreme lead long way any nyx primer even elf's putty primer is to die for but i couldn't find mine so i had to go ahead and use nyx's shine killer so we're using two pumps of maybelline's new super stay foundation i got it in the color deep bronze as y'all can see she's not giving but we already started y'all so we're gonna have to deal with it it is blending out nicely for the most part. Now that we have our base set, we have our primer on, and we also got the foundation together, I'm going to go ahead and use the e.l.f. Camel Concealer. And this one is a little more brighter, and it's a little more thicker, so it's going to actually cover and highlight the areas that I need to highlight without me having a babysit. And with these products, a little bit always, always, always goes a long way. I think that this concealer is like $6 if I'm not mistaken. Excuse the crookedness of my concealer, we're gonna fix that. But literally this whole entire haul or this whole entire look, it's under $30, y'all. I would say under $25, but I don't know what region some of y'all live in, taxes is a thing. So, you know, they coming for their coin. So if you're literally anything like me, when you started doing your makeup, I literally used to never, ever, ever let my makeup dry because I felt like it would leave me with a cakey ass look. That's not the truth. You want to go in with your makeup semi dry slash semi tacky, and that's going to give you that nice lifted um look for your under eyes without you looking crazy because sometimes when you go in blending it when it's super super duper wet it literally like just it don't give the same way that it gives when it's like dry so this brush right here y'all is the holy mother and grail i don't use beauty blenders anymore y'all especially since tiktok announced <laughs> that beauty blenders literally grow mold inside no matter how many times you clean it no matter what product you use because it's so like wet mold is bound to grow in there so like brushes have never been a more better choice for me than now than ever you feel me so this is the real techniques this is their buffing brush this shit right here is literally that girl this is actually their setting brush excuse me not a buffing brush it's their setting brush and as y'all can see, it's literally distributing the life out of this product for me like there is no tomorrow. Due to the fact that my foundation came out a little orange, we're going to heavily contour just to add some warmth onto our face without us looking, you know, out of whack. And when you're doing any type of makeup, you always want to go in with stippling motions. It looks like I'm dragging it because of how fast I'm blending my um, concealer, y'all. But when I tell y'all stippling, stippling motions are it. And then you want to just, you know, do it a little fast so that it doesn't dry as you're taking your time. If you take your time, then it'll dry too fast, you know. Now that we have our face heavily concealed, 
we're gonna go in with some contour as mentioned i'm gonna contour crazy just to get my face to look dimensional so we're going in with my black radiance contour stick literally the best contour stick for women of color and of course we're gonna have to add some onto the nose this is some cream contour that i'm gonna blend out the same contour that i use for my face I just love black radiance contour stick so we just gotta add some of that to the nostrils we're gonna go in now using my favorite favorite blush in this world this shit tops NARS Dior all of them the elf putty blush 10 out of 10 in the color Caribbean so I'm just gonna go ahead and pack some of that on there and then I'm gonna use some excess on here and then I'm gonna go back and forth, back and forth, and blend them out until they blend in with my contour. That's literally the trick to having your blush look as if it is like mixed in with your contour. So this is that Maybelline um, Fit Me setting powder, and we're gonna go ahead and see what it do, because I've never tried this powder before. Alrighty, so we got some of that there. Oh my gosh, y'all. Pray for me. Pray. Please pray. Okay. So we got some of that. And I'm just gonna bake that in to the skin like so. And we don't want to leave any harsh lines. Alrighty, y'all. Alright, y'all. She's giving, she's giving, she's giving. So my number one rule slash trick that I always do is literally pat slash blend slash buff slash press the life of your powder into your face. I literally had this one experience just recently where I decided to use all matte products. I don't know why. And my pictures was given Michael Jackson's daughter. No shade no fucking shade like it was just so bad y'all so you're gonna go on the nose i don't know why i did that much hold on like just like that y'all and we're gonna let that sit as we go back in and contour with powder now so now going in with my baby, this is the Juvia's Place. This is their bronzed duo. I usually go in using both colors right here and I mix them together like so. And we're just gonna go in circular motions around my cheek like so. So I literally almost forgot, every time I do my makeup, I literally chisel out my face like so. So we're just gonna go in Using the tip of this powder puffer, we're going to lightly, ever so lightly, go ahead and chisel my face upward. And that's just kind of gonna give the effect of snatched, a snatched jawline, cheek line, cheek bone, whatever you wanna call it. And you're just gonna be that girl the whole night. So now that that's done, I'm just gonna go on here just gonna go and dust off some of that powder if you've been hip to my videos then you know that I literally am in love with my Charlotte Tilbury face powder that powder is to die for I literally cannot live without it now tonight hopefully by the grace of God this works but I'm gonna go in using um, Maybelline's uh, this is their fit me face powder this is in the color coconut which I low-key think is too light but we're gonna see I'm just gonna tap a little bit just a little bit I'm really nervous to see we're gonna tap off the excess product let's see okay so here she is we're gonna tap off that some of that excess product and I'm just gonna use whatever is left over and we're gonna use that to dust off the excess powder on our face so hopefully that work out <laughs> I literally did not think that this look was gonna come together y'all for real life the second to last step here is we're going to go in and we're gonna add a little bit of, a little bit of more blush this is Juvia's place this is their blush duo again this is I forgot what color this is this is the color 
I don't know. I'm gonna tag everything that I use down in the description box below, but I'm gonna go in using this color up on top right here since it best matches my um, original blush that I put on. We're gonna always tap off that excess product and I'm literally just gonna lightly, lightly apply some of that blush just so that it shows through a little more like so. Last and final step, well, I guess I'm gonna show you guys my lip combo because it's kind of cute. I'm gonna go in using that girl. I This setting spray has held me down for years and then you know, a bitch got bougie and a bitch got money and started, you know, living a little lavish. And now my go-to is the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. So going back to my baby, matte finish, Finny matte. This is 16 hour wear and then we're just gonna go ahead The trick to having a matte face is that after you finish setting everything, dusting off your face, you want to go ahead and oversaturate the life out of your face with some setting powder and then you want to dry off the setting powder with some type of wind, air, fan, paper, notebook. So now getting into my lip combo every single time, I always go in and use a little bit of like chapstick, Carmax, whatever on my bottom lip kiss my lips together and then I go in using a tissue you could go in using a makeup wipe and then I just go ahead and pretty much because my lips my top lip is darker than um, my bottom lip and so I naturally have that brown like lines look so I go in using my tissue to clean up the concealer foundation whatever is on my top lip so that I could get you know that nice chiseled cupid's bow so going in with Miss OG, everybody that knows, knows the NYX. I typically and only use the eyebrow pencil for lip liner because I feel like it's darker than the actual lip liner, which is kind of weird, but I digress. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and overline our top and bottom lip. I've literally searched all around the world and this is literally the best liner that I've ever had in my whole life. So I ain't cheating on her. So I'm gonna go in using the color Creme Brulee and I'm definitely just gonna put that in the center of my lip cause it's a nice little pink. Oh shit, I just made a boo boo. Ugh, so annoying. right in the center same thing on the top lip you're gonna go ahead and put that in the center as well the lip is giving very much what it gotta give and i wouldn't be who i am if i did not put on an extra coat of lip gloss because we love a good shine and just like that you're that girl for less than 30 dollars, okay and this whole beat will literally last you the entire night the whole night i'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and i'll be right back to show you guys the final and finished look Alrighty, y'all and just like that we are done with the beat and you know actually i dead just came home from going out with my friends i ended up fixing my frontal from what y'all saw earlier in the video and as y'all can see we got some baby hairs going on and we very much got the lace looking like scalpiana okay if you want to see how i laid this wig i'm gonna go ahead and link it up in this video somewhere um for you guys but this beat like actually when I say it shocked me, and I know I say like makeup looks shocked me a lot, but that's really because like this face was literally under $30. Under $30, guys. Like, are you kidding me? From the foundation, what I will say is that I will go get a darker foundation because I got like the, I don't know, I decided to get a, a different color than I usually get. Well, I'm lying. I didn't know their new shade ranges, so I just decided to get whatever I thought that I, I that would fit me online. Um, and but you know we were able to make the foundation work um, we was able to contour blushy washy the lip gloss while well, my lip combo faded away throughout the night but as y'all can see the beat is still giving exactly what it's supposed to give okay all right very much flash proof very much that girl but yeah guys as always please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl i will go ahead and link this unit link all the products that i used on my face today as well for you guys so that you guys can you know be savage on a budget very much on a budget okay but yeah um, with that being said again thank you guys so much and i will catch you guys in the next one